Welcome to this introduction of Carlson 2018. This release runs on AutoCAD versions 2018 through 2010. It also comes with IntelliCAD built into the install. IntelliCAD 8.2 is used for running as 32-bit and 8.3 for running as 64-bit. There are over 200 upgraded commands in this release. I will cover some highlights starting with the general commands and then by module. For the IntelliCAD 8.3 upgrade, the focus has been on stability. There are also some performance improvements and new commands, including mLeader, eTransmit, and gradient coloring. The 2018 DWG format is not yet supported, but IntelliCAD expects to have a converter to read this format within a couple months. Geolocate DWG files is a new command to select a folder and show all the drawing files within this folder as placemarks in Google Earth. You can pick on a drawing placemark to see properties in a tag and you can click on a placemark to open the drawing in CAD. To have geolocated drawings you need to have the grid projection set in drawing setup. Draw table can now import directly from Excel and has an option to link the CAD table to Excel so that the CAD table updates when the Excel file is updated. There are also more style settings for the table header and data fields, and the ability to save and load these styles. Fix text overlaps is a new command to find text that overlaps with other text or line work. The overlapping text can be automatically adjusted by rules, or you can use the overlap manager to step through each overlap to manually fix them. Block data report is a new command to report the number of different types of blocks in the drawing. Block attributes are also reported. This command applies for doing an inventory of a drawing, such as for landscaping using blocks for types of plants. Here are updates for Carlson survey. Edit process raw data supports processing for offset records from Sur CE. So you can reprocess the traverse data and use the offset records to adjust the coordinates. And you can edit the offset amounts in, out, left, or right. There is a new display option to show only the traverse records in the spreadsheet editor. And there's a new function to search and replace for point numbers. Field to Finish has many new features. For points with GIS attributes, there's a new ability to control the size, symbol, layer, and color based on the GIS values. For symbols sized by multiple points, there's a new option to label a single average elevation from these points. A new ramp special code makes the Field to Finish 3D curb polylines fit in a ramp using specified width and depth values. You can use this for driveways or sidewalk handicap ramps. The new YZ code is for yes elevation to turn on the real Z elevation for points when a no elevation field to finish code is used. The circle special code has a new two point method that defines the perimeter like Sir CE does. The wall 3D special code has new controls for running the wall points on the left or right side as well as the center. The pipe feature has a new method to locate the points at the top of the pipe and supply the pipe size and thickness. For finding custom field to finish symbols, the program now checks for new symbols in Carlson community. Geoid utilities is a new command to report geoid heights at points, add or subtract geoid heights, or switch geoid models. Coordinate cloud is a new command for storing points to an online database for your own archive or to share with your work colleagues or to share with the surveying community. When storing points, you can include a picture and comments. You can search the database in an area and show the results in a list or in Google Earth. 
order table is a new command to renumber line and curve table tag labels by left to right, top to bottom, or by alignment center line in the drawing. Okay, now for Carlson Civil. Tin history is a new feature for tracking the source data used to create the tin and tracking the tin edits. You can review the tin history and then add or remove data entities and remove tin edits. Then you can reprocess to recreate the tin. In Triangulate and Contour, there's a new feature to auto densify break line polylines. There's a new option to use the contour layer name as the prefix for the label labor. Also, there's a new command to tag lines in the drawing as contour marker lines that Triangulate and Contour uses to place the contour labels where the contour lines intersect the marker lines. This is a way to control the contour label placement. Import NASA World Elevation Data is a new command to create an existing ground grid surface. The source data comes from the NASA Space Shuttle program and the data is at a one second interval. Process Road Design has a new method for dealing with divided highway design where the program uses two center lines. One center line is the master center line for stationing and the other center line for the road alignment. Road Network has a new feature for creating islands for cul-de-sacs and a new feature for creating curb ramps at driveways or handicap ramps. For intersections, there's a new control for having a second template point profile within the intersection curb return, such as having a custom ditch profile. And there's an option to skip the intersection for crossing center lines, such as for an overpass. For creating existing ground profiles, there's the new ability to create offset profiles to the left and right. Draw a section file now finally supports drawing an unlimited number of sections instead of being limited to drawing six cross sections at a time. When creating layouts, draw section now has controls for setting up the layout printer and page size plus the ability to output to sheet sets. There are many new style settings such as for the grid style and volume labels. Footprint Creator for drawing buildings on lots has many new features, including the ability to place footprints in multiple building pads at once. There are placement options for the side or center of the pad and for rotating the footprint by pick by lot side or by center line. You can draw multiple footprint options for various building styles at one time. There is a new option to draw the driveways. Lot Network has many new features, including the ability to draw driveways, draw the buildable area, align the building paths to the center or lot edge, hatch the setback and driveway areas, and automatically output to a lot file. Set lot edge to nearest second is a new command to adjust the drawing line work to remove decimal seconds. ID line work is a new command to pick drawing line work and report the type of network element like lot edge or right away. Point check is a new command to snap together lot network points within a tolerance. Assign building types is a new command to switch the building type within selected lots. Tag no build is a new command to define areas to avoid for building placement. Now Carlson Hydrology. Sewer Network ha added the ability to label the drainage areas for each inlet, including the area, time of concentration, and curve number. There are also more controls for the pipe label styles. Sewer Network now supports negative step up and headwall inlets have an option for a funnel. The report now includes multiple invert ins. Okay, Carlson GIS. Google Earth Image uses a new image server engine that isn't affected by the different Google Earth versions installed on your computer. 
The program now supports higher resolution for larger areas by automatically tiling the images from the server. Also, more map types are available besides aerial for road, terrain, and hybrid. The Point GIS editor now supports import and export for Esri GeoDatabase. There is also a new routine for using Esri ArcGIS services. Now for Carlson Mining. 3D Krieging has been updated and has a new 3D variogram tool that guides you through the workflow and has visualization to show the impact of parameters. Optimized pit design is upgraded to a new engine that handles multiple pit angles, multiple strata, and has improved speed. There is a new routine to define the value block model, which allows for user-defined equations. With Design Bench Pit, you can now output 3D solids for each bench, and you can taper the bench as it approaches the tie with the surface, and you can have the bench slope follow a strata instead of using a fixed bench slope. The target surface can be set to an elevation instead of a surface model. Also, the program cleans up the egg carton effect when having multiple pits going down. With surface equipment timing, you can now assign destinations for key material based on the material grade. Also, the 3D pick routine has a new display option to show a graphic chart of the quantities and qualities as you select the mining blocks with the pit, pit sequence on the horizontal axis and the attributes on the vertical. In Carlson Takeoff, Edit Assigned Polyline had a major overhaul and now has a new interface for smoother workflow. There are a few new features including a report function and controls for the grip and label sizes. In CADNet, the export tin to IFC now supports tins with different colors by making separate IFC models for each color. This way you can have a different BIM model for different areas of the surface. Point Cloud has a new engine option called Tesseract that is faster for viewing large models. New features include improved cloud registration, new bare earth method using grid logic, and creating cross sections along an MXS file. The biggest new feature is creating solid models from point cloud data, such as for tunnels or underground cavities. Unlike a regular tin ground surface, these solids wrap around and enclose a watertight volume. For more details on the Carlson 2018 improvements, visit our website at the address shown here. For Carlson customers on the maintenance program, you will receive an email with your Carlson 2018 serial numbers. You can also go to our website to look up your serial numbers. The latest Carlson 2018 download will also be posted on our website. For any questions, please email support or give us a call. Thank you for listening.